everybody! As we've been doing our Christmas family vlogs, the most requested video that I've been getting is how to do a Christmas Eve dinner in Japan on a budget. Now it's tough because in Japan you obviously can't get turkeys very easily and if you do, they're enormous so they're really hard to cook in smaller Japanese ovens. So today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Christmas dinner using the Costco rotisserie chicken. The rotisserie chicken is very inexpensive, it tastes delicious and it kind of looks like a turkey too. Please remember that if you do like content like this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and do not, do not, do not forget to subscribe to this channel with the notification bell turned on so that you can get notified whenever we've uploaded a new video. All right, everybody, let's get cooking. On the menu today, we have a Costco rotisserie chicken, but we are going to fancy it up a bit using some really inexpensive ingredients. We also have a nice tossed salad. We have some honey butter dill carrots, and we have some extra creamy mashed potatoes. We'll go ahead and get started with the easiest side dish, which is the carrots. All you need is carrots, butter, dill, honey, salt, and pepper. First, peel your carrots, and then cut them into any shape you like. Next, you just steam the carrots. I'm using this IKEA steamer that I use for absolutely any steaming. While your carrots are steaming, you can prepare the sauce. You add some melted butter to a bowl, you add some dill, then you add some honey, salt and pepper, and you just give it a good whisk. All you do is bathe the carrots in this sauce and you have the yummiest carrot side dish. Because of the beautiful orange color, this makes for a very nice autumn or early winter dish. Next, the mashed potatoes. All you need is potatoes, butter, garlic, milk, salt, and pepper. You start by peeling four to five cloves of garlic and wrapping them in aluminum foil. Then you roast that in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Next, you peel your potatoes very well. You rinse them really well with cold water. Then you cut them into even pieces and place them in a large pan of cold water. You generously add a lot of salt. Set your heat to high and let the water boil. Cook the potatoes until soft. While the potatoes are boiling, cut up your butter into smaller pieces. When the potatoes are cooked through, string them. Let them sit a few minutes until the water completely evaporates from them. Next, go back to your pan and set the heat to its lowest setting. Then add the potatoes. Mash the potatoes. Then you add about a quarter of the butter and mash until melted. Mix the potatoes a bit to prevent them from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Add another quarter or so of the butter. Now that they're softer, I've switched to a whisk. Add another quarter of the butter and whisk some more. Now I'm going to take my roasted garlic, smash it and add it to the potatoes. I'll whisk again and then add the remaining butter. Now add some whole milk. You'll see how creamy they are after this last stir. Taste the potatoes and add salt and pepper as desired. These potatoes are so creamy that I just serve them as is with no garnish. The next thing we'll do is make our salad. I already have a video about tips for making a great salad, so today I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna use just some green leaf lettuce and some spinach. 
Here for my toppings, I'm going to use some carrots, some cherry tomatoes, some purple onion, some julienne red bell pepper. I've also added half a chopped peeled apple. Then I add some finely chopped walnuts. I mix all the vegetables and that's it. Finally, the rotisserie chicken. Cut half an apple into quarters. Do the same with an orange. Then take the largest plate you can find. Don't worry about its design or color because we are going to place some beautiful crisp green leaf lettuce on top of the plate. Be sure to wash the lettuce ahead of time and make sure that it's dry and then you just place it on the plate. Once you do that, you place your rotisserie chicken on top of the lettuce and then you just finish garnishing the plate with the chopped apple and orange. So here is what the dinner is going to look like. For the decorations, I've just reused all of the decorations that I made from the 100 yen shop. If you can, try to serve your salad on a big, deep bowl. The color of the bowl doesn't matter. Usually it's the size of the bowl that makes the salad look really appealing. I like to serve the carrots in a white bowl just because the contrast between the orange and the white is really beautiful, but that's up to you. For the mashed potatoes, I do recommend that you finish preparing them right before your dinner. If you let them sit too long, they will get a little bit hard and they don't heat as well as when they're fresh out of the pan. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Basically, we've cheated. We didn't use a turkey, but we did end up with something that looks just as nice. We were basically able to make this entire dinner for about 3,000 yen, which is pretty good.